morning guys so i want to take you through a full day of eating and show you what i eat when i'm trying to lose fat and get toned and i think what will surprise you is just how much i actually eat but it is for weight loss one of the things i used to do that was like totally wrong was just completely restrict myself and stop eating when I wanted to lose fat. So now I'm way more intentional because I learned that it actually is really important not only what you're eating, but how and when you eat it throughout the day to be able to see results. I feel like I'm finally in a place in my life where I have like true food freedom and can have flexibility while still losing weight. And I know that's something a lot of you are searching for. So before I get into my breakfast, there's two important things you need to know. So one, it might seem like I'm eating a ton of food, but I'm actually in a caloric deficit. I don't count calories or anything, but I follow my hot body meal plan Plan, and then I just adjust it a little bit when I'm trying to maintain like whatever weight I get to and number two the food I eat is really good like I freaking love food so I'm not gonna be eating the same things every day it's not boiled chicken and broccoli I really love to mix it up and I'm gonna share a few new recipes I've been absolutely obsessed with especially my breakfast and dessert I'm gonna start by showing you my coffee but first if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button I'm doing giveaways every single week for new subscribers I'm gonna be giving you things that are gonna help you with your fitness journey so drop a comment and let me know say hi and maybe you could be this week's winner okay i live for my coffee but if you've been here a while i don't think you've ever seen me with an iced coffee in my hand but it's been like 90 degrees here still and since i don't drink my coffee now until after 10 a.m to help like keep my cortisol levels lower i just have been like trying to get into the ice game and i feel like i kind of love it am i gonna be an iced coffee girl now i don't know but i'm sure you guys how i made it two things that are actually very positive for weight loss goals since I've been doing the iced coffee. So one is just that like I use less creamer because there's not as much room in my cup once the ice melts and everything else. And then since I have hypothyroidism, I switched to half-calf coffee like two years ago. So if you're new here, I've had hypothyroidism since I was 11. It's something I've dealt with my whole life, which is why I've had the weight struggles I have, part of the reason at least. I started doing half-calf because I felt like it was just negatively impacting my weight and my mood and just kind of everything. And it really has made a difference because if you have too much caffeine it elevates your cortisol levels and when your cortisol levels are increased the stress hormone it like suppresses your metabolism and increases your appetite and there's just like a lot of bad stuff that happens so i feel like whenever i start cutting back on caffeine i'm able to lose weight a lot faster and i notice the changes not only in my body but how i feel too One thing I do every morning before I actually like get into my day is I always have my greens or celery juice and then I do a scoop of protein and water as well. I like to get protein in within the first 30 minutes of waking up and I forgot to show you guys that, but I just like to get that in my body. That's gonna help everything balance out. I used to wait until way later in the day, like doing intermittent fasting and there can be benefits with intermittent fasting, but it's definitely not for everyone. And I felt like it was kind of hindering my progress and again, just like slowing everything down. So. I don't always feel like eating first thing in the morning, but I make sure to get 20 to 30 grams of protein. Then I get into my day. So I already had that before my coffee. I'm going to catch up on a few emails and then I'll show you guys the amazing, freaking delicious, so good breakfast I've been making. Okay, so for breakfast this morning, I've been switching it up the last few days. I know it's weird, like it's fall, it should be like cozy, warm, whatever, but it's been really hot here. And I normally make smoothies every single morning, even like when it's cold, sometimes I'll do oat bowls and stuff, but I just love a good smoothie because you get everything you need, it's really convenient. But what I found was like, I was chugging my smoothies so fast, like I would drink them in, I'm not joking, like two minutes. And I wasn't even like enjoying my breakfast. I've been doing a smoothie bowl, which is kind of the same thing. It's just as easy to make, but I feel like it helps me be more intentional in my eating and like slow down a little bit, enjoy my breakfast more. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. If you want the full recipe, make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter. I'll put a link down below because I'll send this one out to all of you girls like next week.
this turned out way bigger than I expected. Since I'm doing my workout in like an hour and a half, I like to load up my carbs earlier on in the morning. There's so many carbs between the fruit that's in it, the granola I put on top, so I'm getting a good hit of that to have that energy to go into my workout. I also wanna make sure I'm always getting protein, especially early on in the day to help balance my hormones. It's gonna help keep you full too. So those are like my two priorities before I go work out and then after my workout, it's all about the protein, but I'll show you guys my post-workout snack later. Um, but I'm gonna eat this before it melts. I have a full body workout in my move app and it is a pretty intense one. I'm in the advanced level. I've just been getting back into doing my workouts like at like my full crazy level. So I don't do pre-workouts or anything like that because they make you super jittery. Again, caffeine, like I've tried them in the past and felt like I was having legit heart attacks and people have because they have so many insane ingredients. So especially because I have my coffee, I don't want more caffeine. If I ever do need it, I use the pep rally, so it's that natural energy boost. It has like a green tea lemonade flavor, but it just uses green tea for energy. But instead of that, like because I don't really need caffeine, I just do a little wing woman. It's immunity boost, but it has a lot of good vitamins and minerals to help replenish while I'm working out. So after the workout, protein is like the most important thing. I'm gonna make lunch too, but I still am gonna get some protein in. I don't need to make like a big smoothie. I'm just gonna mix some straight in water so it keeps the calories lower, but also make sure I'm refueling my body. Because if you're not replenishing with enough protein, your body actually starts to break down the muscle in your body and use it for fuel versus fat. Like that's the last thing your body uses as energy so you want to make sure you're replenishing and getting enough that's why like when i used to restrict myself and not eat as much why i wasn't losing weight is because your body starts actually eating the muscle and stuff and storing the fat because it doesn't think it's going to get enough later so i'm just going to use our chocolate protein and i'm going to do kind of like a little like chocolate churro i have like a really yummy shake recipe for this on the blog i'll link down below for you guys but this is just the simple like five second version so i'm just gonna do a little cinnamon chocolate protein and water and mix that up while I make my lunch. Earlier this month, I shared a video about like five reasons why you're not losing weight. And they're like sneaky little things. One of them is something that used to get me all the time and it's on this lunch. But it's fat, like I like healthy fats. I used to think like you had to avoid fats forever. And then as soon as I was like, no, fats are good. I started eating so many healthy fats and I didn't really understand portions of them. So I'd eat like whole avocados and still be like, well, I'm eating so healthy. Why am I not losing weight? Cause those healthy fats are the highest caloric density between like proteins and carbs. So you get like nine calories per gram of fat. Really healthy fats are incredible, but you just don't want to overdo it. At the end of the day, dinners are usually the meal where I would be the most likely to just order something, not wanting to take the time. So I always try to have some stuff meal prepped in the house so I can throw together a bowl. I just love bowls because you make so many different variations of them switch up the flavor. So this is a really yummy harvest bowl I've been making that has like all of the fall flavors you love and it's just like savory. It's so filling and delicious. You feel like you're like getting something you'd order at a restaurant, but you can make it at home in like five minutes. Thank you. 
I always like making my bowls pretty, but then I just mix it all up into like a big pile because I want a bite of everything at the same time. Like, you know, on Thanksgiving, like what is your move? Tell me in the comments, are you like a, I wanna taste everything separately or like mix it all together because it's 10 times better when you get all of the flavors at once. So that's what I'm doing with my bowl. I also like to use like a smaller bowl for myself so I don't fill it way too much, but I load up on the greens and then I just keep the rest of my portions aligned with my hot body meal plan. It just makes it really easy. And then I just get this like delicious, yummy bowl that is so good. I wouldn't say I have a sweet tooth normally. I'm just a savory girl, but lately, like every evening, I've just been wanting a little dessert. I feel like especially when I'm really focused on trying to lean out a little bit more, having that dessert at night just is kind of like the little cherry on top that makes you feel like you're indulging and not missing out on anything. So this is like a really healthy one I've been making lately. If you have my holiday survival guide that has like 30 amazing holiday recipes in it. There's a peppermint bark in there. I'm gonna do a like hazelnut shark chocolate version of that. part but it literally only needs like five minutes in the freezer just to set a little bit and then we're gonna put the yogurt on top and then put it back in the freezer again like another five or ten minutes and then it's good to go and then I just keep it in the freezer so that I can like break off a piece or I'll break it ahead of time so it's just like little pieces like a little bite but then you get like good healthy fats I'm using a sugar-free dark chocolate so there's no added sugars and it's loaded with protein from the yogurt and the added protein powder I got a little impatient and didn't want to wait for it to fully freeze, but it's actually really good because it's like a mousse on top, but it's just such a nice little treat. You don't need that much of it. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm gonna go start my night routine, but that is everything I eat in a day when I'm trying to lose weight. And I know that's hard to believe because there's a lot of food and dessert, but you can really have amazing, delicious food and still lose fat and get toned. So if you guys liked what I was eating, I was eating from my hot body meal plan. I'll link it down below for you. I share in there how to make swaps and mix it up to really make it your own. And if you wanna see what I eat to maintain once I hit like my goal weight, comment and let me know and I'll make that video for you guys too. And if you're new to my channel, new subscriber, don't forget to tell me down in the comments because I'm picking one subscriber every single week to win a gift for me to help you with your journey. I hope you love seeing what I eat in a day. If you did, sweat the thumbs up. That just means give it a little click so I know to make more of them for you. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Yeah.